What's going on guys? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all doing well and having a really great day. Today is the day we're going to turn on the trailer so we can get some solar power running out there. As you guys can see, it is a gorgeous day out and I have the breaker off going to the trailer here. In one of the last videos, we actually uh, wired it up so it should be good to go. All I have to do is really turn this thing on. As of right now, the batteries are actually charging. They're at about 83% or so. Let's just double check real quick. We're getting about 4,000 or 5,000 watts right now coming from the pergola all by itself. 87. All right, perfect. This one is at 88. Oh, sorry, 86, 85, 86, 86, and 88. All right, so they're all getting there. Again, once the other 6,000 XP is uh, turned on, these things will end up charging a lot more evenly, or at least I hope so. Uh, but yeah, anyways, so... This thing has been running flawlessly throughout the night. It's actually the first night that I had this thing on fully. I've been pulling 460 watts throughout the entire night. I stopped, um, or I actually stopped getting solar power last night at about 5.30, 6 o'clock at night. And that 460 watts ran from 100% of the batteries down to about 73% or so this morning until the sun came up. So 500 watts all night ran fantastic, right? And it could probably run for two days straight like that so that is awesome to know um all right yeah so i guess we gotta plug some more shit in right those batteries are gonna be charged in no time it's literally 10 a.m so let's get some more stuff plugged in and let's get this trailer turned on but just before we do that let's hear a quick word from today's video sponsor Crypto Miner Bros is the ultimate destination for all of your crypto mining needs. Founded in 2018, this company specializes in top quality ASIC miners from brands like Bitmain, Goldshell, and many others. Whether you're a newbie or a pro, they offer competitive prices, fast shipping, and easy payment options worldwide. Pay with bank transfer, Bitcoin, or even other cryptocurrencies, no cash needed. The prices you see on their website include taxes, shipping, and DDP to your door, so there are no surprises at checkout. Join tens of thousands of satisfied customers who trust Crypto Miner Bros for their hardware fulfillment, transparent prices, and world-class service. Check out CryptoMinerBros.com, link down below. There it is, 5,000 watts we're getting right now, and the batteries, 87% is what it's registering at the app from this uh, little Wi-Fi dongle here. This thing is like the best monitoring app. It works great. Again, if you guys are interested in anything solar, go check out the link down below, Signature Solar. These inverters and all their stuff they have actually available is amazing. Anyways, let's uh, turn the trailer on, and let's get out there and turn some stuff on. All right. That PDU should be coming on in no time. Let's get out there and make sure the PDU is now on. Man, gorgeous day for 10 a.m. And uh, right now, springtime is actually the perfect time for this solar uh, shed to actually be getting sun. Literally at like 11 or 12 o'clock, that thing is dead in the sun until it goes down at about six o'clock at night or seven o'clock at night. Uh, the pergola over there is the one that's killing it right now. Again, 5,000 watts coming in from it. And yeah, this is where I used to have all the solar shit. And that is no longer, as you can see. I have all this stuff still. I do need to move it, but that's literally later date. Going into the other shed so it could charge my batteries and stuff. Again, I don't want that stuff in my house just because they're not fire suppressed batteries like the EG4 LL batteries. They have fire suppression built in. And uh, yeah, it just makes me a lot more comfortable. So let's see what we got. Okay, as of right now, the PDU itself is powered on, but everything needs to start clicking on one at a time. It basically tests all of the outlets before it actually fires anything up. And I do need to get into the dashboard to turn some things on. So I think what we're going to do today is probably turn on the KS2 light. Actually, I have enough to turn on literally everything in here for the most part. So we're gonna get the, uh... oh, is this already on? No. That looks like it's on. That's crazy. I thought those lights were lit up. Um, this is the EDG1M. This is the Dogecoin Litecoin Miner from Gold Shell. Shout out to them. If you guys didn't see that video, go check it out. But I'm going to get this on today. We're going to turn on the KS2 light. The AL box, the AL box 2 that's over there. I got to fix this stuff. I also have the AL zeros just kind of chilling in that tub of wood right there. So that's going to get turned on as well. And yeah, this Caspa KS0 contraption here oh there we go all the all the ports are turning on right now one at a time individually everything else is probably off so that's awesome all right yeah so what i'm going to do is get some stuff up and running in here we're going to see how much wattage we're actually pulling in here oh you know what that's one thing i didn't think of 
I need a monitoring system to see how many watts we're actually pulling out here. I'm gonna have to change that outlet at some point to uh, make that a meter box. Hmm, all right, so I got a lot of work to do in here. I'm actually probably not gonna be able to do that today, but at least let's get some stuff on, let's get some power drawn, and I'll be able to monitor pretty much everything through my app if this thing would unlock so I can show you guys. Again, we'll be able to see exactly what we're drawing. So right now, you can see at the bottom, it's 500 watts right now. It was 460, so the PDU obviously is taking up another 40 watts or so to uh, power my network switch because that all just came on. But yeah, so let's get some stuff on and uh, we'll go from there. You know, that really stinks I didn't think about monitoring that trailer line. I should probably divert the two wires out to a meter box here so I could actually read it and then send it back into the panel. So I might do that at a later date. But this is what I do from my phone, so I can actually... Wi-Fi into my um, or teleport rather into my Dream Machine Pro. And then all you got to do is really search this uh, IP or this is my local IP right for the uh, PDU, and then I can get into all of my stuff. And it's super hard to see. I mean, obviously through camera and then on the phone, but I can start turning on things as we go. So first things first, I want to turn on the EDG1M and the KS2 Lite. I'm going to turn those two on. For now because uh we're still not getting crazy amounts of power right it's fluctuating between high threes and five thousand watts from this pergola and i want to charge the batteries throughout the night so i can run this thing consistently in case we have a rainy day tomorrow so let's uh turn those on right now let's go back out to the trailer and make sure that worked i'm just trying to make sure nothing trips in here that's kind of why i'm actually standing in here for a second so let that register let it click on it should probably have already done it all right nothing tripped i didn't hear anything anyways so let's get out here and just make sure the EDG1 Amazon and what was the other one? The KS2 Lite. I think that was the plan. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. Again, I just don't want to go too crazy. Right off the bat, I'd rather uh, monitor it with only a couple of machines on. All right, cool. KS2 Lite. Hell yeah. Two giga hashes on um, what's it called? Caspa. And then this guy, EDG1M, is uh, I don't even remember what this gets actually. I'd have to go back and look at my video. Yeah, I totally forget. <laughs> Anyways, this thing's running awesome, awesome. All right, cool. So let's give this a little bit, and then uh, we'll come back out here, and we'll turn some other shit on. I absolutely love that PDU. Man, I wish that was a drop meter. That'd be amazing, but it's not. It's just an LCD screen, so you can monitor the actual uh, unit itself. Actually, does it say it? I don't even know. I guess. You know what? It does. 1,000 watts. I guess I can monitor it right there. But that's a pain in the ass. I'd rather have it down at my... Uh, solar stuff what do you guys think let me know in the comments below if that's what you would do all right we'll give this a few and we'll be back out here to check it out well looks like we're getting some clouds hopefully the sun stays out for a while as of right now we're only getting about 1800 watts but we're still pulling 23 28 between the trailer and the uh basement everything's been running smooth i just wanted to double check and make sure it was all good batteries that are about 90 percent which is a good thing i just kind of closed this stuff over for now so i didn't really turn on anything else besides the uh, al zeros and i kind of just picked up some of the shit that was on the ground so the al zeros right here i picked up what in the hell al zeros i picked up turned them on so those are good to go um i got the al box two plus over here i did not turn that on yet but i'm gonna turn that on in a little bit i think i'm gonna turn on the original al box two as well and uh yeah that's it oh look at that i was looking for that actually all right yeah that's uh pretty much it guys really nothing else in this video i just wanted to monitor and make sure everything is uh up and running good but yeah so i guess my next plans here is i gotta figure out a monitoring device or meter somehow down in the uh actual basement right where my uh panel is and all that stuff so we're not like i don't know just kind of guessing what we're running and looking at our phones i'd rather see it when i can just look real quick instead of having to like get into my pdu and shit and see what's on and all that so it just makes way more sense to me but yeah so plan is we're going to be running the wires from the solar shed in one of the next upcoming videos right along this uh kind of you can see the ripped up grass here where i pulled that last line from that was uh coming from the pergola over to the uh solar trailer and now that i pulled that back and got that into the house as you guys can see under here worked out fantastic i got the other one that's going to be going up right there so there's going to be another pipe next to this 90 in this way 
and then boom picking that shit up and everything will be mint but i do need to figure out what um i have to do to get these things to communicate properly together because that is something again i've never done but as of right now al box 2 sorry ae pro rather is uh up here running again 460 watts running perfectly fine it's kind of nice to see those two meters there running actually uh to make sure there's no discrepancy between the two they're actually both exactly the same which is cool and i gotta get my uh mini doge 3 plus actually out of my garage and i'm gonna plug that in down here as well you know what let me just go grab that right now so i had this thing plugged in in here actually heating my garage for the winter just kind of keeping this bathroom kind of warm because uh yeah you don't want the pipes to freeze right so i wanted to take the chill out of here so that's what this guy was doing as of right now it's 52 degrees in here but it's above freezing so i'm not really too concerned with it sorry about the freaking mess these kids are crazy what's up pup checking me out following me around all right let's go plug this bitch in just found an extra cable i hid under my uh, network switch for emergency use cases right now let's get this guy plugged in there we go get this plugged in up here uh let's see i guess we'll go we'll skip one do the next one i love how this has got the locking thing too so it'll actually lock the female end into the uh pdu which is awesome in case you tug on this thing all right let's turn it on let's see blue light nice Again, 460 watts was just this guy, so let's see how much it actually pulls with both of them fully running. All right, full bore looks like 760 watts just about between these two guys, the A, uh, sorry, the Doge, Mini Doge 3 Plus, rather, and the AE Box Pro running side by side. This one's making about 10 bucks a day. This one's making... I mean, I guess off grid, it's probably making a couple bucks a day, but realistically at my electric rate, it was costing me money. So is what it is. But right now we are pulling, let's see, only about 2000 Watts. Again, you guys saw the clouds kind of kicking up, but we're dishing out six, uh, 2635, right? Um, you can see the batteries are 92%. So the best thing about having like a solar setup with like batteries and all that stuff is I could literally run everything throughout the day on solar and have the batteries make up the difference during the day but i do need to shut off in time for them to charge back up for the night time because you want to kind of end the day with these batteries completely full but anyways guys that's gonna do it so i'm pumped we're running everything completely off grid what do you guys think about this setup let me know down in the comments below i'll catch you guys on the next video when we actually run those shed solar lines and until then peace out and have a good day